Namaste. In today's video, we are going to address problems related to property, litigation, or if it's about building your own house, your dream house, you're facing obstacles to uh, build your own asset, your first asset, or you want to liquidate, you want to sell your asset, you want to sell your house, you want to sell your land, you want to sell your site, your property, and uh, you're not getting a good rate, you're not getting a good buyer. So this video is all about that. Stay tuned. This is Mekla here from Pujas.in. Most often when people call me, they say they want to build their dream house and they've been wanting to and it's just not happening for some reason. So they say, can you please check my horoscope and tell me what is it that I can do to uh, be able to build a very beautiful house, a small one but a good one. Or some people will say they want to build a mansion and they want some uh, amount of God's grace for that. And uh, there are also people who call me related to this, they want to sell their property because they want to get their daughter married or they have an immediate requirement for which they're not getting a good rate and they, they are in urgent need of money. So they are like, can you help us sell it soon? And it should not seem like a desperate sale, but we need to get a good rate. Is it possible for you to uh, do any puja which can really help? And there are also people who would say that uh, they are supposed to get their uh, share in the family inheritance but some other brothers or siblings are actually creating problems when it comes to uh, you know putting their signature or just cooperation or it's just that you know legally they are entitled they cannot enjoy the property you know uh, these kind of various combinations of uh, problems are there when it comes to land building whether it's a commercial property or whether it is a um, your own house or if it's just a land or a, a site whatever so uh, we have a beautiful puja like it's a very powerful puja of bhu varaha swami uh, wherein um, this puja and this particular mantra that we chant for this our priests chant that has reference of matsya purana also it is actually given in the matsya purana that you know uh, the person who chants this mantra uh, for a certain number of sankhyas, a minimum I can say is 10,000 sankhya jap. If we are able to do that with the sankalpa of whatever you want to do with your property, it will be so powerful that you are able to accomplish what you dream of related to your property. Okay, whether it is you buy, building your house or whether it's buying or identifying a good place and buying an apartment or flat or if it is like a disposing your uh, asset for a good rate. Any of this is possible and all of it is possible with the Bhuvaraha Swami. We have performed this for at least uh, 10 people so far. Why I say 10 people is that you know many times all the mantras are already prescribed. Everything is there okay in the scriptures. But in our journey of discovery many times we discover the power of these mantras with clients only. For example, we have clients who will come and uh, uh, express that they have this problem and then we do our research and then we do... Um, Prayog and when we are doing Prayog we tell them that this is the first time we are trying there is a uh, Ullekhan in this particular uh, um, uh, Purana or Shastra so we want to try it if you are willing we can try and see whether it's going to work uh, and how effectively it's going to work for this because uh, definitely if it is stated in the Puranas it will work but uh, to what extent how many Sankhyas these are the things which we need to try with individually you know with each person so we have done like that and we have tried uh, with this particular mantra and uh, one case uh, I can say successfully was in Banaras when a person wanted to uh, claim his share of property from the family inheritance which he was not getting for a long time. It was almost 20 years due in the court and uh, after we did this puja everything just the whole thing picked up momentum and uh, he got his share. So the every whole settlement took place. See that is the beauty of that. The second uh, important thing that I can say in this particular uh, puja was that one person wanted to sell his uh, flat, an apartment in Madurai. It was an investment which he had made and he wanted to liquidate that uh, to meet some other financial requirement and uh, he wanted to get a good buyer and a good rate. So after we did this puja, he was immediately able to sell it. Now the third thing is again a person had a, a site in Mysore okay like a 60-40 plot he had and he, wa he was looking for a buyer for almost two years and he had not found a single buyer 
because the place was like outskirts of Mysore and everybody kept complaining that this is very far there's no even to sell it at a low cost he was not getting somebody you know it was it had become that desperate so once we did this puja for him he was able to comfortably sell it for a very good rate much beyond his expectations so that is another case that I would like to state and uh, there was one family uh, who wanted to uh, they were from Bombay they wanted to buy their own dream house uh, and they were they didn't have a high budget or anything but they just wanted a like a reasonably comfortable good house and they didn't know how to go about it because uh, in their chart there was no yoga to build their own house so then you know when you want to go beyond the navagrahas you need a higher force so which is why we to, we did, recommended this puja for them and they agreed to do it and they did it and uh, fantastic they are able to i mean they are already in their new house now they bought an apartment they're very comfortable they're extremely happy so like this we have had numerous instances i can say 10 so far i can count on 10 successful cases uh, where we have done puja for them and they are able to uh, enjoy the benefit of the puja because it's uh, already prescribed in the purana so it is actually um, it's like validated you know if it's there in the purana if it is there in the shastra if it's there anything is there in any of the scriptures that means it is already like a verdict of the divine so we just have to it's like the already the prescription is available we just have to uh, follow the prescription so what we usually do is we do at least uh, 10,000 japas uh, to start with to see how effective it is on the person and then we give a gap of 40 days to see the movement or the momentum and then once the movement picks up then it's fine you know you already got your result but if it is not picking up after 40 days we would recommend you to do another cycle so people who uh, this is also very powerful puja for people who have experienced problems where uh, there are um, you know uh, miscreants uh, and people who are illegally occupying your property you just want to get rid of them from your property um, unnecessarily avoid litigation court cases because you know how long it's going to take so in all those cases uh, this is going to work very well okay illegally if you have a tenant like you know initially when you sign up and uh, you, you're there together fine he's paying rent on time everything is fine but finally you want to do something else with your asset like for example you want to move into the house or you want to sell the house and you're not able to do it because he is just not ready to move He's paying you rent, but he's not ready to move. These kind of issues also are handled with this particular puja. Uh, I mean, I would call it a jap actually. It's not just a puja. It's a jap of Bhu Varaha Swami. So Lakshmi Varaha Swami, uh, he was the one who will lift you from all your problems. Just like he lifted uh, Mother Earth from the clutches of Hiranyaksha. You know, like that, even if you're in like a lot of problems related to property, he will just lift you up. That is his power. In fact, uh, you know, when I wanted to shoot this video, I had so many obstacles to shoot this video. And then I realized that, you know, this is so powerful and I'm releasing it to the world. So that means maybe I should um, pray and seek his permission before doing it because uh, in out of enthusiasm that things are working out for people, I just thought I should just shoot somewhere i slipped my awareness you know and then i uh, then my camera mic stopped working and uh, there was it was not detecting my voice and i had lots of these issues and the lights also uh, sh you know, had some problem there was some flickering and it was not very clear and then i realized okay maybe i have not sought divine permission so i sat for some time and i prayed i gave a gap of two days and I apologized. I said, okay, I should seek your permission. Can I please do this? Because it will really help a lot of people. And in my meditation, when I actually prayed like that, um, I got a prompt that I should chant a particular um, like shloka from the Guru Gita. Then uh, things may work well. So I did the, the chants. And you know, when I did those chants, uh, I said, now let me go and open the camera and see if it's going to work. So I just plugged the camera to the uh, mic and then it started detecting. Then I knew, okay, this is the protocol and procedure to follow uh, to, you know, because it's a very powerful puja. I need to seek the permission and then it will definitely work for everyone. So with that faith and conviction, I'm telling you all that this is a very, very, very powerful puja if you are facing any problem related to your property even if it's not a problem you want to make a new beginning related to your property please feel free to call me because it's a very powerful puja like i said we have had um, people experiencing the benefits of this puja and i'm sure uh, that with this video it will reach out to many many more and all of you are eligible all of us are eligible for divine grace all of us are eligible to have our dream home all of us are eligible to 
enjoy the fruits of our forefathers or the property that we have rightfully acquired rightfully acquired yes so please don't call me to say that you have interest in some property which doesn't belong to you for which you're not ready to pay and for by hook or crook you want to acquire it it's not going to work because we are not going to take up such cases at all so uh, only rightfully legally uh, dharmically if you feel like making a move towards a property you're most welcome to call me Thank you so much. Namaste.